Now I want you to take a second and really pay attention to some of these photos on your screen. Look at that detail in that picture there. It's like you can almost see and feel the emotion from the subjects that were created by pencil. Just beautiful. And you know how we do things here on Delmarva Live. Of course, the artist behind those photos is from Delmarva. And the neat thing about Lori Deaver is that she's willing to teach you how she does what she does. So we're happy to welcome Lori Deaver of Herlock to Delmarva Life today. Thank you for being Having here. Me. All right, you have been drawing for as long as you remember, right? I've been drawing, I can't even remember when I started. Um, I've always doodled on corners, um, swirls, circles, um, at the dinner table. Um, I really enjoy just spacing out, losing myself in my art. Mm -hmm. the colors and ideas. Yeah, in fact, you say you sometimes lose yourself in your subconscious? Yes, um, subconscious, uh, how I describe it is um, kind of like meditation, mm -hmm. a translate state, a translate-like state, state, pardon mm -hmm. me, um, where you kind of just start to doodle with a line and it turns into something and you kind of let your mind wander and kind of see what, what it would take into form. And um, sometimes it turns into trees, people, cakes. So you don't know yeah. what you're going to draw sometimes no. until you're finished. Right. With I just it. relax and go with it. That's nice. It has to be therapeutic. It's very ther therapeutic. Now, um, in addition to drawing, you also do paintings, and that's what we are seeing here mm -hmm. on the table. These are gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. So um, let's talk about specifically because almost all of them are of Smith Island cake. They are. They are. Um, the cool thing about um, getting connected with people in our neighborhood is I got connected with a woman um, who has a shop on Smith Island. Mm -hmm. um, her name's Kathy Dunaway Taylor. And she said, you know, I really like your glasses. I do painting on glasses and pictures. And she's like, could you come to my shop? And I said, absolutely. I, I want to do something distinctive to your area, so um, I looked up Smith Island not knowing anything about it, uh -huh. and I came across pictures of cakes, and I thought that would be fun to paint. Yeah. Very light and colorful, and everybody likes dessert. Sure, so, especially um, Smith Island cakes. Yes, yes, <laughs> and, it's, and it's to the area of the Eastern Shore, so I thought, what a great idea. So, yeah, so I said almost all of them yes. are Smith Island cake. There is one in front here, and I probably did what a lot of people do, is almost say, it's upside down, it's a dog. It but is. But it's not, I mean, the painting is right side up. Tell me about that. That is Roxy, that is one of my girlfriend's dogs. Mm -hmm. And I do pet portraits as well, but I really like the lighting of it and just the abstractness of the dog. And it was really fun to paint and put some bright colors in there. And it was her birthday gift. Ah, oh, what so, a wonderful yeah. birthday gift. Thank you. Now, do you prefer one medium over the other, painting over drawing or? It depends. Like mm -hmm. sometimes, like lately I've been drawing with pencil, but um, just at home in practicing with my art. But I also weld. I also do oil and acrylic. So I'll be teaching an acrylic class later on this year as well. But it just depends on the mood and what I'm in the mood for. I'm yeah. glad you brought up that you teach because you want yes. others to learn what you do. Yes, I do. So you have a session coming up? I do at the Dorchester um, Center for the Arts. It's um, oil painting for beginners, um, ages 16 and up. Mm -hmm. um, I would probably take a 15-year-old, though. Yeah. Um, but it starts in January, this Thursday, on the 17th through March 7th. All right, and it's 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Yes, and I will be teaching um, how to use the mediums, how to do different uh, techniques with the palette knife, like the cakes, mm -hmm. and um, brush techniques as well. And you were telling me anybody can paint. Yes, yes, you anybody. Just, yeah. I just taught my daughter um, how to paint cactuses like we were talking earlier. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. Okay, so before I let you go, um, can you touch on the importance of art especially in people like your daughter, young people? Um, it's funny that you asked that. I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, well, I really think that they need an outlet. Mm -hmm. um, not every kid can talk to their parents or their grandparents, whoever's raising them. And it's really important to have an outlet where they can express their emotion. Um, but sitting in the car the other day with Kylie, my daughter, I asked her, like, why do you think it's important for kids to do art? And she said, well, we can't 
really express our emotions to adults all the time. Wow. So, and I was like, gosh, she's so deep. That is it. It is, is. Yeah. yeah. So I thought, wouldn't wouldn't it be great to just share that coming from a kid? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and we always say it, we need to keep arts in the schools. We do, we really do to have that connection with the kid's self. Yeah. Oh, Lori, thank you so much for thank coming you for in. Thank you for having me. And bringing your art is absolutely beautiful. We'll have all the information about your session, your oil, uh, oil painting session on our website. Thank you.